Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Today I'll be sharing a delicious but simple recipe and I'd love it if you join me. Let's do it. Alright, so the first part of our recipe, what I'll be doing is a sort of caramel that's going to be going on the bottom of our um, ramekins to, and then we'll pour a flan mixture on top of it. I have one cup of granulated sugar in my pan here. I'm going to put this on the stove on low and let it cook slowly until it turns into that uh, sort of liquid sticky uh, substance. I'll show you what it looks like when it gets to that stage. Okay, so while that's on the stove, what I have here is five eggs and these are room temperature. One of my eggs have two yolks in it. That's pretty cool. This one here. So I, I have them at room temperature and there's a little white thing on the side there. I took those off. I don't, I don't know, in the Caribbean they, say, they usually say that that's what will make the egg taste gamey. So I removed those. You don't have to if you don't want to. I have a lime here and I'm just going to put a little bit of lime zest in here just for some extra insurance that I'm not going to get a gamey tasting flan. Okay. And now we're going to start getting everything in our blender. So I have my blender here. I'm going to add in my eggs with my um, lime zest. What I have here is one cup of pumpkin puree. Make sure you get just pumpkin puree and not the one that says uh, pumpkin pie mix because that one has other ingredients and you don't want that in your, in your flan. Okay, I'm adding in a little pinch of salt. This little shaker was given to me by my friend Nan. Go check out her channel. It's Nan's Global Kitchen. I'm going to add in a little bit of cinnamon. Calling that about three quarter teaspoon. I'm going to add in a little bit of nutmeg. About quarter teaspoon. I'm going to add in some ginger. Always have trouble opening this. Okay, adding in about half a teaspoon. Then I'm going to add in some vinegar, not vinegar, vanilla. <laughs> ah, about a teaspoon. Also going to add in one can of evaporated milk. This is so easy. You just dump every single thing, uh, every single ingredient in, except for our sugar mixture. And, and we just blend this for uh, two or three minutes. Okay, and the last thing that's going to go in here is our sweetened condensed milk. So I'm going to get this in here and blend it up and come back. So caramel is all set and what I'm going to do is pour a little of this just to cover the bottom of each of these. quickly before it um, before it solidifies you want to cover the bottom of your container so now that they're all poured in here what I need to do now is just let them sit and cool down before we add in our um, flan mixture, okay? 
Okay, so this has cooled down and here is my mixture, remember that we made in the blender. So I'm just gonna fill each of these. I'll fill these up and then I'll show you the next thing we'll do. Okay, so now that they're filled up, we're gonna uh, bake this in what's called a bain-marie, which is like a water bath. So I have my kettle here and I will pour water enough to go about halfway up each of these. Okay, I think that's enough. And now what I'm gonna do is cover it with foil. And I have my oven preheated to 325 degrees. I'm gonna put this in there on the middle rack uh, for one hour and it should be ready to go. I will see you back in an hour. All right, so this just came out of the oven. It's been an hour. They look pretty good. So what I need to do now is remove them from here and set them uh, on my counter and let them cool. And then I'll put them in the refrigerator overnight and tomorrow we will turn them over and let you see what they look like. See you back tomorrow.